Hello, hello, hello. I'm Mr. Nosy from the No Repuppet Theatre. Hi, and I'm Miss Nosy Parker from the No Repuppet Theatre too. Hello, Mrs. Nosy. How are you? And how are you, all of you? Are you all safe at home? Studying, doing your homework? And, and playing? You know, we thought you might like to have some more. Paper cup puppet fun. So? So we thought we'd like to show you how we're made. Yeah, yeah, I think you'd like to know how we are made. But first, let me poke my nose into this camera. Oh, oh, oh. So all you need is a paper cup. You have to make a hole the size of your index finger. So that your finger fits in comfortably. Cut it with the scissors. And then you just add some sticker eyes and some mouth and some hair. Oh, and you can also make a nose like this. You know what we need for this? An old glove or a sock which has fingers and toes like this. All you need to do is chop off one and fix it with a stapler or just glue it on and decorate it with whatever bits you have lying around for the hair, the eyes and the mouth and of course have a lot of fun. So here's another idea for you. I'm so happy today. Oh, I'm so worried. Just in case the coronavirus comes to my house. I'm so angry. We're going to destroy the coronavirus somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm happy. We're going to get rid of it. So you can show your emotions, you know. On this little paper cup, all you have to do is take two paper cups. You have to make a hole on one paper cup. Draw the outline like this, maybe the hair. It could be a boy, it could be a girl. And the second paper cup, you have to draw the emotions or the feelings a happy face a sad face I have a happy face here I have a sad face here and I have a angry face here so you can experiment and make more emotions more expressions and have fun but now I'm so happy are you happy? Will you play with your paper cups and have a lot of paper puppet fun? So there's yet another way in which you can hold your paper cup. You can hold your paper cup this way. And maybe make a mouth. So what we have to do for this is draw a line across the center like I've done here. And with the help of your scissors, we have to cut it through very carefully. Don't forget to use your ruler to divide it equally. Root neatly. And once you have once you have these two papers, two parts, we have to make a mouth like this. So for this, what we have to do is take 
another paper slightly thicker a paper cardboard and put that like this get a shape like this and we have to fix it inside here see how I fix this with cello tape once you fix this firmly with cello tape we have to stick a colored paper for the mouth so what we do is maybe put a red paper and we can also make a tongue it would be a nice animal a fox or a dog and then we have to cut out eyes in such a way that they will be held up like this not flat so that we see the eyes properly so I have made this like this the eyes like this you can stick google eyes also or stickers and behind stick some ears for the animal it could be a fox or a dog like I said and at the same time we have to cover this cover this part with any color paper of your choice whatever animal you want to make whatever color paper you may have in the house so you have to be very careful to take this part and put it on a paper like this and measure it carefully and then cut it out you stick it neatly and also make the nostrils and your fox is ready hi I'm hungry and maybe I can go and eat something maybe I should go into the jungle and you know what we can even take part of a sock, cut the part, the toe part and we can insert a hand like this and when you put your hand like this inside your fingers won't show and it looks nice. Oops! Like this. Everybody, I'm the fox. You could have a story of the dog and the bone, the fox and the sour grapes. Maybe we can try that one out, you know. Shall we try one story? You know the story of the greedy dog? A dog once found a bone. Walk, walk, walk. Yummy. Mmm. He had to cross a bridge to get across where his house was. As he climbed the bridge, he happened to look inside the water. Ah, uh, I can see another dog. And he has another juicy bone. Maybe I can get that bone too. And the silly dog opened his mouth. Wah, 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 to jump at the dog. Oh, my bone, it's gone. And there's no dog inside. Oh, I was so greedy. I should have kept that bone for myself. I have no bone now. And the 
silly, greedy dog went home sobbing. <laughs> Did you like that, guys? Yeah! And will you make a lot of paper cut puppets like us? Mr. Nosy and Mrs. Nosy Parker? And don't forget to subscribe for our channel. Yeah, and like us. Bye. Bye-bye.